The pocket area in Sacramento, known for its many trails that overlook the Sacramento River, for decades has had a plan to improve on that and pave the area on top of the levee for a bike trail, connecting downtown Sacramento and the pocket. It's been the city's plan to finish the parkway for 43 years, so we think it's time that it should be completed. The plan is getting some pushback from residents that live along the levee, particularly a two-mile stretch between Arabella Way and Garsha Bend Park, where homeowners own land all the way to the river's edge and fear what may happen once a busy bike trail goes in. Opening this whole parkway up is going to introduce an influx of people from outside of this region who don't care. Don Murphy is one of seven property owners pushing back against the city. One of his neighbors even putting up fences blocking access to the two-mile stretch. Jim Hoop with the Sacramento River Parkway Coalition is opposed to that, saying the public deserves access to the entire levee. There are several areas that are blocked off by private fences and gates. The Corps of Engineers and the Central Valley Flood Protection Board realize that those private fences and gates are a serious problem for all of us. But Murphy argues he and his neighbors pay property taxes based on the acreage that runs to the river and that public access is limited to maintenance work. It's in the deed and in the deed it also uh, discusses the easement rights granted to the feds and the state for maintenance and flood control. Last month, the city presented Murphy and his neighbors offers to purchase recreational use of their levy easement and told neighbors if an offer can't be reached, the city's next step would be acquiring the levy easement through eminent domain. And if at some point it means eminent domain, and none of us hope that the city has to use eminent domain, but if it means eminent domain, it's not that complex a process, and we will get it done within the next few years. In Sacramento, Tish Palmadesi, KCRA 3 News.